everybody, it's Missy from Shimmers again, and today I wanted to show you a fun technique that you could do with a brayer. Now this is just a cheap one that I found at Michael's, and you just hold it and you roll it, and it's going to smudge anything that you put on it. So I have pulled out several shimmer sprays. I've got some colorings and some vibes here, and I just wanted to try this out. I have seen several people do this, and I think it looks really neat. So I pulled out some white cardstock, and I have done nothing to it. Um, you're going to be surprised how easy this is, and you really don't use a lot of ink. I did one spray, and you can see on the plastic packaging there that there's really not a lot of ink. I just took the brayer and kind of lightly rolled it through the ink just a few times, and then I'm just going to roll it on the paper very lightly. I don't want to push down too hard at first. Um, like I said, this is my first time trying this, and you're going to get this really pretty splotchy watercolor effect. I'm going to speed this up because I'm going to go through several colors here. Now you can add as much ink to you, to the brayer as you want or as little and press down harder. You're going to get a different look. This is the Ginny B Blue Vibes and this is more of a turquoise aqua color. I just wanted to do some layering with different colors and see how this turned out. This is Colorings and Oh Say Can You See and I'm really loving this. This is a fun, fast, an easy way to get some color on your background. And you know what the greatest part about this is your paper's not going to warp because you're using tiny amounts of ink. That lime green color is colorings in Don't Citron Me. Yeah, my paper did not warp at all, so I was very pleased with that. I come back in with the first color again, and that's the colorings Heidi Ho Blue. And I just think this is really fun. It dries super fast too. It's already dry. I didn't even have to use my heat gun. And you can see there's no warping on the paper at all. So I thought I would try this with a couple other Shimmers products. This is the Dazzler's Texture Paste in Jelly Bean Green. Now this is definitely thicker and it's going to look a little different. But uh, you really don't need a lot. I probably could have done with a little less there. But you want to just roll some on your brayer and again lightly roll back and forth and you could roll in whichever direction you wanted and uh, again it's going to take a little bit of time for the dazzlers to dry but if you use minimal amounts of it it dries pretty quickly because it's going on on a really thin coat there the last one i'm going to try is the shimmers paints and anchors away and this is very glittery when it dries and it's going to do the same thing. So this just shows you that you could do any of your Shimmers products like this. It's fast, it's easy, and it's fun, and you could layer all kinds of colors together. And I did create a layout with this background, and there it is. I just used some bits and pieces laying around on my desk to document this cute picture of my daughter on that blue and green background. And I brought in a couple of other colors to uh, accent those colors in the background. So I hope you give this technique a try. It's really fun, really fast, super easy, and allows you to use lots of your products layered together. You're going to get lots of different tones and shades. So thanks for joining us today, and I'll see you next time. Bye.